by, so don't wait. Right now, enjoy the classic taste of the holidays again. Did those clips and that sound make you feel eerie? I hope so, because that was the goal of it. Uh, trying to prove that eeriness can be invoked <laughs> um, using imagery and sound, uh, even if you don't really know what it's all from. You know, eeriness actually is a very interesting thing. It can be relatively reliably invoked in other people using certain imagery, sounds, and sights. Fog, eerie empty places, slightly off people that invoke uncanny valley effect. But it's also able to be twisted or changed by cultural trends and media. Um, just like love sits in a close part of the brain to hatred, as they are both passions, it seems that eeriness sits very close to serenity and peace. And so in Hollywood and in movies and in stories going back a long way now, a lot of tropes are around Things that are normally considered positive or safe being made into obverse, terrifying things. Uh, nuns being used as evil creatures. Little girls being possessed. Um, swing sets. Schools. very similar to how a wood scene that is peaceful and serene in the daytime can quickly become scary at night. It's a sort of shadow side to the whole scene. And after a while and after enough of this imagery is consumed, certain places that once would make someone feel peaceful, inspired, hopeful, can take on an eerie veneer that is hard to remove. Eeriness is such a funny thing. I think the indelible eeriness is the woods at night, you know, everyone's pretty much scared of that in the sense of Ooh, there's at least a degree of apprehension we have about such a place. Um, things like uh, places where dead people are buried, I think that's pretty universal. But other than that, what someone finds eerie can actually tell you a lot about what they believe it seems. So. So everyone, I hope I didn't spook you solid. Sorry if I did. Uh, just <laughs> kind of playing around with editing and video making, and this is an interesting topic, and I also wanted to see if I could kind of set a scene, you know? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one.